I'm going to show you how to wire uh, 700R4 for a TCC lockup with using no parts or virtually no parts. This is a late model case. This is the latest model 700. It has no pressure taps on the side of the case. This is an earlier one. It has three pressure taps. Some of these are 87 and up. Some are not. You can tell by the VIN number on the side. The first number of the VIN will be the last number of the year. If it's got a 7, it's an 87. 87 is the critical year for 700s. The case on the pump, there's a casting number right in here if you have it out of the car. If it ends in 732, it's an 87. 87, they went to fuel injection. When they went to fuel injection, you had a normally open fourth gear switch. To wire an 87 on up, you don't have to go into the training. You take the wiring harness pigtail, the front, left, or outer uh, wire, you put uh, 12 volts. The other two that are di diagonal to each other, you connect together. This will make the transmission lock up in fourth gear and unlock when it comes out of fourth gear. You don't need a brake switch, you don't need a vacuum switch, you don't need anything else as long as you don't have a big cam. On the valve bodies themselves, there's two different types of solenoids on the early ones. One is a one wire and you have the one wire going in, it's self-grounding solenoid where the fourth gear switch goes, which is the furthest switch over on the passenger side of the vehicle. You need a normally open fourth gear switch. It should be in the transmission. And you just run the other one up to the wire and you run it to the front left wire and power that up. On the later model ones, you have a two wire solenoid. You use a one wire switch to ground the solenoid and the other wire goes out of the training and into power. And this is all you need to do. The only problem you might have is if you're running a big cam and the motor will lug at 40 miles an hour.